it's our birthday. Now I'm not talking about my birthday or your birthday, I'm talking about the cave's birthday. Today marks exactly one year since the first YouTube video went live and I am in the mood to party. And to celebrate this wondrous occasion, I have some goodies in store for you today, obviously because this is a bonus video, you don't normally get that kind of thing. So in celebration of a full 12 months, um, having survived a full 12 months, I have a little giveaway for you today and it is items that I use every day and I thought I would share some of my favourite things with you guys and give you a chance to try them out for yourself. The first thing I have is this so, so cute Winsor & Newton Cotman watercolour set. Now it is the uh, Skechers pocket box so there are a little diddy set of paints in here and you can see, I mean I've got little hands but it's it's pretty small but it is perfectly formed and my recent forays into watercolour I have really enjoyed using these paints so I am giving away this little set here which uh, this is my favourite part you're gonna love this it's got this tiny dinky little brush that folds out so you have a, you have a dinky little travel paintbrush in there so that you have everything you need and you can take the watercolours wherever you like to go. The second prize that I have is a sketchbook and it is a graphic inspire me sketchbook and I have used one of these and I really like them. I like the size of them, they are good size and when you unfold them the pages are quite large and they are also perforated as well so that you can tear the pages out. But the main thing that I like about this sketchbook is that the paper is designed to take markers. So that means that you can doodle away with your Copics or your Spectrum Noirs or any other marker of your choice for that matter and it's not going to sink through the pages into the next page behind. In addition to that, this particular sketchbook is called the Inspire Me sketchbook and in amongst all the normal pages, there are some patterned pages and they have little designs like some squares on them and there is triangles and hexagonal shapes and also dot grids as well, similar to what you would find in a bullet journal. So the advantage of that is even if you're not a mega, mega arty person, you can use these as scrapbooks or journals or just a plain old sketchbook. And if you don't like the pattern pages, you can tear them out and use them for something else. If you would like to enter the giveaway for either of these prizes, I shall tell you right now what you have to do. It is a worldwide giveaway, so I will be shipping these items to anybody, anywhere, and the shipping is on me. You must be over 18 to enter, and all you need to do to enter is leave me a comment down below telling me a video that you would like to see from the Colour Cave. I would not have made it to a year with this channel if it wasn't for you guys, your ongoing support, your lovely comments, your information and knowledge that you've passed on to me to help me learn too. And I really feel as if we're getting a nice little community together and the Colour Cave is a happy place to be generally. So I just want to give a little bit back, celebrate making one year with the channel and uh, yeah, it just means you guys can have a bit of fun too. Now, in addition to that, I have another important announcement, so listen carefully. The schedule for the channel is going to be changing and it is effective immediately. Instead of putting videos out on a Monday and a Friday, we are changing to a Thursday and a Sunday. Now, this is purely because it fits in with my routine and the 9 million other things I have to do in a day. It's just going to take the pressure off me a little bit for getting videos out on time. So it's not really going to affect you guys other than than you will expect a video on Thursdays and Sundays. So for this week only, you lucky ducks, you're actually getting four videos this week. You have yesterday's video, which I will um, link in the end card, and that was a little bit more in our nameplate challenge in jewelry box for some adult colouring. You've got this video today, and you will also have a video on Thursday and a video on Sunday. So I hope you're all looking forward to that as well. The other thing that I promised, which I haven't come up with the goods yet, was I promised some snippets from around the farm. And rather than doing another blooper reel, uh, which 
I don't want to do to death and I know some of you like it and it gives you a giggle and it makes me laugh editing it as well but I thought it would be nice to show you a little bit of what goes on around the farm so if you like that kind of thing you can sit tight and enjoy that next if not get scribbling in those comments and let me know what type of video you would like to see next in the colour cave hope you all enjoy guys and I shall see you on Thursday so it is 10 o'clock at night and we are in the shed. You can see the light's not very good, but that's because we have ambient lighting for our ladies <laughs> who are all pregnant and we're trying to keep them nice and calm. So I would like to introduce you to Agnes. So this is Agnes here and her tag is by 18. Trying to get her into light because she's black. But Agnes is our friend. Here she comes, look. Hi Agnes! <laughs> Hi! <laughs> Good girl! So Agnes is nearly three and a half years old. She probably weighs, without um, actually knowing for sure, she probably weighs about 700 kilos. Um, she is a, an Aberdeen Angus, so she's a, a big a big beefy girl. Hey girly! Hi! Um, she's most, most a fan of having her bum scratched. So. Going down the drum. Yeah. So when they turn like this, you know they're enjoying it. Mm -mm -mm. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's good. So I don't know if you can see that, but she's like wiggling her bum back and forth. Mm. <laughs> that's nice. Is that good, Agnes? Are you enjoying that? Yeah. So this is our pen of cows that have had their calves. And the calves are all quite fresh. You can see Mum's licking away. That one of them just there. <laughs> a good wash. So we've got to be careful in this pen because the mothers are quite maternal and it's important that we don't disturb them while they're bonding with their calves. And you can just see in the background over there there are several individual pens and we have one cow with their own calves in those pens and when they have just given birth. We put them in there to give them some privacy and a chance to bond with our babies before we put them out of the general population of this pen. We've got a visitor. Hi. Hi. By nature, we are very inquisitive animals. Hello, darling. It's alright, I'm not going to touch your baby. <laughs> so we've just fed everybody and you can see that everyone is eating the baby. And we need fun. So we're on a mixture of silage and carrots, parsnips and turnips or sweets. You can see that everybody's hungry even though it's 11 o'clock at night. Hey Billy! This is one of our two bulls that share a field together. And they're both very placid and they're nice boys. Aren't you? Yes, you're a beautiful boy. You are a beautiful boy. Are you just chilling out today? Yeah, relaxing. Good for you. Okay, so we're heading up to go and see the goats now, and uh, I am knackered. <laughs> uh, this section of road that I'm walking up, um, I use it for hill drills in the summer for running, and even walking up here <laughs> is actually knackering me. It is quite steep though, but I used to spend an hour just running up and down here, you know, up and down, up and down. I'm off my rocker. Anyway, we're going to get back to that. Once we've got lambing out the way, we'll get back into the running and get on. Anyway, in the meantime, let's head on up. It really doesn't look steep from this angle, but it is. <laughs> the babies are outside and I don't want to disturb them. I think mum's going to take them off before we get up. Yeah, she's off. We'll go up and see them in their little hidey hole. These are all pygmy goats. And that you can see one twin is there. The other twin is with its mum where it should be. They are very good escape artists. And generally they are just mischief. They're just trouble. The first time I came in contact with goats was when I went to Mr. Jem's parents' farm. They milk goats and I lost my watch strap. I'm gonna come running because I think they're gonna get fed. <laughs> Hi everyone. <laughs> Hi babies. 
Look at you two. You're so small. <laughs> this is their playground. This is supposed to keep them amused so they don't try and escape. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Up the back here, this is the two billy goats that may stink. They're so smelly. Hi everyone. Are you coming to say hello? Hey, are you coming to say hello? Hi baby. <laughs> So it's a few weeks after I took the first video and I am back in the cow shed and I was wanting to go in and show you Agnes's baby because she's had her baby. Unfortunately I'm on my own today which wasn't the plan but on top of that we've had a, a cow calf and she is very protective of her calf and she's also in the general population in the shed so because I'm on my own basically I can't go in in case something happens because she's very very aggressive however I'm just gonna switch the camera around and let you have a little look in her pen and look at all her babies and mummies running about in the daylight this is Gen Pop now and you can see there's a scattering of cows and calves we're nearly done calving we have a, a little um a little curious one here and everybody's just kind of chilling out well apart from her and we've just pushed some feed up so the girls are all back in picking up everything that they want to eat. You can see there's there's carrots and turnip, they seem to really like that. I'm sure Agnes is along here somewhere. Let's see if we can find her. Say hi girls, say hi to everyone at the Colour Cave. <laughs> Lots of hungry faces. There's Agnes there. She's fighting her way in. <laughs> so up at this top end here, in this pen here, these are the cows that are left to have their babies. These are the ones that are left to calve. We've had three calves today and they are way up at the back in that corner. Um, you see the mums haven't come forward for feed and it's because they are protecting their babies up at the back. You can see one just lying down underneath that cow on the left that's kicking up the, the straw. So yeah, we're nearly there, thank goodness. Hi hey baby, what are you doing all on your own up here? Hmm? You go back with all your friends? She's shy. <laughs> it's alright baby. Go find your mum. When you go. Hi. <laughs> Where's your mum? Oh, I think that's mum coming now, is it? Is that your mommy? Oh, that's nice, isn't it? <laughs> Are you coming to see us? Come on then. Alright. Oh, goodness me. That's mum saying you be careful. Are you curious? Come on then. I hope you all enjoyed that and thank you once again so much for watching and being part of the Colour Cave community. We'll see you in the next video guys. Bye for now.